Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. His name. Thanks for tuning in to the Heart of God Network. Welcome, welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood of high.
Yes, it was at the cross of Calvary. Where we will redeem. So glory to the living. Glory to his name. Was the blood applied. Glory to his name. So wondrously saved from sin Jesus so sweetly applies women There at the cross where he took me in Singing glory to his name I'm singing glory Bible said be overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. At the fountain. At the fountain. Woman. Woman, if you drink of this water, you shall thirst again. The word that I shall give to you, you shall never thirst again. It's glory, glory, hallelujah. Mercy. Thank God for His grace. Thank God for Calvary. Shun's plan 
to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We need to be changed from the inside out. Only you alone can do it, Jesus. Only God alone can change us from the inside out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, as we consecrate our life to you today, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we should rejoice in it and be glad in it. Yes, Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you for that great salvation. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for calling us out, Lord. Hallelujah. You have chosen us. You have chosen us, Lord. Hallelujah. We have not chose you. If it's, if it's up to us, Lord, to choose you, we would not have chosen you, Jesus, but you have chosen us. Even from the very foundation of this world. Oh God, we thank you for your for choosing us, Lord, to approach your throne of mercy, Lord. If it wasn't for you, Lord, where would we be today? But we would be in our grave. Oh God, we would have been forgotten. But Jesus, Jesus, loving Jesus, your kindness and grace and mercy has pulled us out, Lord, with a mighty hand. My God, we thank you for your deliverance, Lord. For deliverance from bondage of sin, from deliverance from the oppressor, my God, the oppressor, my God, the accuser of the brethren. Thank you, Jesus, for deliverance. Without your shed of your blood, Lord, there was no remission of our sins, no forgiveness, no pay payment. But you paid the price. You paid it in full. You said it was finished. My God, I thank you, Jesus. Oh God, He said that. Oh God. Not to pay not them that will kill the body, but for him that will kill the body and soul in hell. My God, thank you, Jesus, for delivering our soul. You have come to rescue us, Lord. Oh, God, the ark of safety. We thank you, Lord, for rescuing us, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for your spirit, your Holy Spirit, that you have given unto us today, Lord. For it is not by power, it is not by might. But it's by your spirit. Lead us, Lord. Hallelujah. My God, the one is shepherd of our soul. You are the power, Lord, and we are the clay. Mold us, make us, transform us, Lord, into your image, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, for you made men, Lord, into the image of yourself, Lord. In the image of God created thee them, male and female created thee them, Lord. God, my God. We thank you, Lord. For this opportunity to come before you are in your throne, your presence, Lord, that makes the difference in our life. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus today. Cover us under the blood. Keep us, Lord, in perfect peace as we keep our mind upon you. My God, David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. Yes, Lord, we are prone to sin. We are prone to wander, Lord, like sheep. Wander away from the flock of God. Wander away. Oh God, for your prayer, my God, my God. You call to Adam, Adam, where art thou? My God, Adam, Adam, Adam. Oh God, he said he heard you walking in the cool of the day, my God. And he hid from your presence, my God, he hid from your presence. He hid, he hid, my God, behind the trees. My God, my God. Oh God, my God, help us, Holy Ghost, help us, Holy Ghost. My God, help us, Holy Ghost, to come unto you. You said, come unto you, all you that labor and have heavy laden, and you give us rest, Lord. My God, my God, we have sinned against you, Lord. We have transgressed against your will. But my God, we thank you, Jesus, that you came and looked for us, Lord. You came to seek and to search that which was lost. My God, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus your very voice that we heard at the cross at the cross where I first received my sight and the burdens of my heart rolled away my God is at the cross Lord where we receive our sight we heard the voice of God at the cross my God with your arms stretched wide open Lord we thank you today Lord we thank you today Lord help us to run to you Lord run to you Jesus help us to run to you we don't have time to waste Lord wasted years of our life we have wasted it in vanity we have wasted it in Lord wasted it in sin but I thank you Jesus for pulling us out for calling us Lord we bless your name today and we thank you Lord do do marvelous things like you always do Lord 
God, you are wonder. You are wonder working God. Wonder, wonder. You are wonder, Lord, you wonder. My God, my God, as Moses turned to turn away to see this wonder, to see the burning bush that was never consumed. Jesus, keep our eyes upon you. Father, in Jesus' name, to you be praised and to you be glory. In Jesus' name. The shepherd of the station. Praise God. and worthy to be praised. Hallelujah.
Lord, we give you thanks. Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Bless the holy name of the Lord. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run in it, and they are saved. Hallelujah. Saved and delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, saints of God. Thank you, saints of God. Blessings in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is good to be in the presence of the people of God. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Praise God. When they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. A sinner man is not going to say that. But a saint of God is going to say that. Hallelujah. As we be a witness for the Lord in this environment, in this land, this strange land. The Bible said, how can we sing a, the Lord's song in this strange land? <laughs> strange land is a strange land. It's a strange land. Hallelujah. When you mention the name of Jesus, something happened in the atmosphere. Demons tremble. My God, bondages have to be loose of the people. When you mention the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, people of God. Let that name be in your mouth at all times. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for making a way for us. Oh God, as you draw us close to you. Precious Savior, precious Redeemer. Hallelujah. As we grow in the Lord, we're like a little tree, you know, we're growing, we're growing in the Lord, you know, we're growing. Hallelujah. And many times when we reach, when we get older, we start to really understand. But when we're young, we are like fool. <laughs> we think we can live forever. Hallelujah. But when we get older, we get more wisdom and wiser. But it should not be like that. It should not be like that. But praise God for his mercy and his love and his love and kindness. We're gonna be looking at um Joshua, the man of God, the Joshua the man of the man of God that took the mantle from the man of God Moses. Praise God for God's people. It's a mantle we have to take. One generation pass it and another one coming. That's what God says. Hallelujah. So as we are in our generation, let us work for God. The Bible said work while it's day. That's what Jesus said. That's what he said to us. Because in that comic where no man could work. Glory be to God. Thank God for the knowledge of God. The revelation of the Holy Ghost to the Word of God. Without the Holy Ghost, we can't have revelation. Without the Holy Ghost, it's like words on a piece of paper. But the Bible said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. When we understand what the Holy Ghost said, it becomes our strength. We can't build God a house. The Bible said, foxes of hole, birds of nests. But the Son of Man don't have no place to rest his head. Hallelujah. That's why he built us. <laughs> Oh God, these are potter and we are the clay. Bless the potter. Bless the potter. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 6. We're going to start from verse 1. Joshua chapter 6 verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit and your presence. We give you all the glory and we give you all the praise. It is so sweet to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now Jericho was straight, st straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and the kings thereof and the mighty man of valor and ye shall compress the city 
all ye men of valor, and go round about the city once. Thus shall do six days. I mean, they're going to do it six days. I'm going to give you instruction what to do for six days. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets. Seven trumpets of ram's horn. And the seventh day ye shall compress the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the trumpet. And it shall come to pass that when they make a loud blast with the ram's horn. And when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout and the wall of Jer of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him so God gave Joshua instruction to tell the people what to do six days you're gonna march around this wall is there a wall in your life that cannot come down? God gave the man of God instruction six days. Tell him to march around, but don't, don't say a word. Just march around the wall. Hallelujah. Praise God. And as the priest bear before the, the seventh trumpet of the ram's horn and on the seventh he shall compress the city seven times and the priest shall blow the trumpet there is something about the horn of God that when the sound of the trumpet of God shall blow something is going to happen the Bible said he shall come when he shall burst the sky and he shall come the trump of God the trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and we that are alive shall rise and meet them in the air so there is something about blowing up the trumpet hallelujah We have to blow the trumpet in Zion. As we blow the trumpet in Zion, we are telling people about Jesus. What the Lord has done. Blow the trumpet in Zion. The Bible says, lift up your voice. Like a what? A trumpet. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. But the devil's not going to want to do that. It's going to seem strange in a strange land. It's going to seem strange when you're walking around telling people, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. The Bible said the dead in Christ shall rise. The Bible said we were once dead in trespasses in sin. Dead in our sin. Hallelujah. But I thank God when I heard the trumpet of God. Hallelujah. I heard the trumpet of God. But one day we're going to hear the, the, the trumpet of God and we're going to rise with Him. But as we tarry with the Lord now, the Bible says, lift up your voice like a trumpet. There is all kind of wickedness going on in the world. And if God don't open our eyes to these things, we cannot see it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And it shall come to pass that when they make a loud blast with the ram's horn and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet all the people 
shall shout with a great shout. Shall shout with a great shout. Hallelujah. As we magnify the Lord, we are shouting with a great shout. Bless in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord in the morning. Praise Him in the afternoon. Praise Him in the evening. David said, Thy word shall be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Because when we lift, when we praise God with a trumpet, when we praise God, we exalt Him, we lift Him up. Hallelujah. We are designed to praise God. Glory to Jesus. And Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compress the city, and let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it shall come to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bear the seven trumpet of the ram's horn. Pass on before the Lord and blow with a trumpet and the ark of the covenant of the Lord follow them so when we blow the trumpet when we lift up the name of Jesus the Bible said behold the tabernacle of God it is with man praise God so when we lift up the trumpet and blow the blow the trumpet Lift up the name of Jesus in this strange land. The Lord will go before us. Hallelujah. In this strange land. So Joshua commanded the priests to do this. As they blow the trumpet. The Lord went before them. Hallelujah. The Lord will lead us through this wilderness. The Lord will lead us through this land, this barren land, as we blow the trumpet. Praise God. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will you grieve Saul? When I have rejected him as king over Israel, fill your horn with oil and go and I will send you to Jesse, to the Benjamite, for I have chosen a king for myself among his son. So God has chosen us. Hallelujah. And we know the story that Samuel anointed David. Hallelujah. With the oil from the ram's horn. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. He have chosen David. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compress the city, and let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. So we're in a warfare. We're in a warfare. Hallelujah, we're in a warfare. So them that are armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it shall come to pass when Joshua have spoken unto the people, the seven priests bearing the seven horn, the, the seven trumpet of the ram's horn, pass on before the Lord and blow with the trumpet. And the ark of the, of the covenant of the Lord Follow them. And the armed men went before the priest that blew with the trumpet. And reward came after the ark. 
and that the words came after the ark. The priest going on and blowing with the trumpet. And Joshua commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout nor make any noise with your voice, nor shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout. Then shall ye shout. So the ark of the Lord compressed the city, going about it once. And they came into the camp and lodged into the camp. And Joshua arose early in the morning. And the priest took up the ark of the Lord. Praise God. The priest took up the ark of the, ark of the Lord. People of God, when you leave your house, don't go nowhere without the ark of the Lord. Don't go nowhere without Jesus. And the seven priests bearing the seven trumpet of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went continuously and blew with the trumpet. And the armed men went before them. But all men went before them. But the word came after afterwards came the ark of the Lord and the priest going on and blowing with the trumpet. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said there is more with us than they that are against us. It is not by power and it is not by might, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord, by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. He is doing the fighting. He is doing the battle for us. Praise God. He is doing the fight for us. So as they blow the trumpet with the ram's horn, the Lord went before them. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ is the way Jesus Christ is the life the Bible said no man could go unto the Father except by me no man could come unto Jesus and let the Spirit draws them hallelujah so this wall of Jericho will come down in your life I don't care what kind of wall it is from sickness the finance, the marriage problem, this wall will come down. All we have to do is to keep our eyes upon the Lord. Keep our eyes upon Jesus and the wall will come down. But once we take our eyes off Jesus, that wall will remain. The Lord said, if we should have faith as small as a mustard seed, we could stand unto this mountain, be there removed, and be cast into the sea. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and is the evidence of things not seen. So many times you don't see the enemy. We don't see the enemy. But when, when problems and, and sickness come up in our life, we could, we could recognize that that's him. The Bible said, in all that he wished that we should prosper and, and be in good health. God wants us to prosper. God wants us to be in good health. But we have to continue. To blow the trumpet in Zion. 
You have to continue to blow that trumpet. Hallelujah. Blow the trumpet on the job. Blow the trumpet on the street. Blow the trumpet in your home. Blow the trumpet of God. And the ark of God will come. It will come. His presence will come when we blow the trumpet. Jesus says like this, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So as we lift up the name of Jesus, He's drawing us, drawing, drawing us to Himself. The Bible said God was in the world, reconciling the world unto Himself. He was in the world reconciling this world to himself by preaching the glorious kingdom of heaven. He preached the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. You said, I, I did not come to do my own will, but my father's will. He came to do the father's will. People of God have to keep on lifting up the trumpet. Blowing the trumpet. Have to keep on blowing the trumpet in Zion. Many times we feel burdened down. We feel anxiety. We feel stressed out. We feel broken. We feel we cannot make it to the other side. But the secret is this. When you're weak, then you're strong. For it's not by power, it's not by might. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. By my spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came and filled the room where they were sitting. It's not by power and it's not by might. But it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Then answered and spoke unto me. Then he, he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Although, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. Whatsoever problem you have is going to become nothing. And he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, grace, grace unto it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, the head of Zerubbabel had laid the foundation of this house. Praise God. His hand shall also finish it. His hands shall also finish it. He that began a good work in you shall finish it until the end. Jesus said it was finished on the cross. Yes. 2,000 years ago it was finished. But we have to receive it. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts have sent me unto you. But who had despised the days of small things? He that began a good work in you will finish it until the end. If you faint not, don't faint. Don't despise the days of small beginning. Whatsoever God begin in your life, He's going to finish it until the end. He's going to finish it. He's not a man that He should lie, not a son of man that He should repent. But He's going to finish it. But it's up to us now to blow the trumpet. Hold fast the faith. Hold fast. 
Praise God. Despise not the day of small things. For they shall rejoice and shall see the pomer of the hands of Jerubel with those seven. They are the they are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro throughout the whole earth. He sees everything that's going on. If if we could not handle the situation that we're in, he would not give it to us. But these things come that our faith may stretch and increase and grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes, we have an adversary out there. He made it for evil. But God is saying that I made it for good. He made it for good. So when we're being stretched by the Lord, don't despise the days of small things, small beginning. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then answered I and said unto him, What are these? two other trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left side thereof. What are these two other trees? And I answered again and said unto him, What be these two olive branches? First it was trees, then he said these two olive branches, which thou, which thou which threw the two golden pipe empty the golden oil out of themselves. And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones that stand before the Lord of the whole earth. These are the two anointed ones that stand before the Lord of the whole earth. The two anointed one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God anointed his vessels. He anointed the vessels. Jesus Christ was anointed. David was anointed. Joshua was anointed. Anointed vessels. And he said, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for His anointed word. We thank God for His spirit. We thank God for His presence and His power. We thank Him for His anointing that breaks yokes in our lives. We give him thanks for pouring out his anointing upon broken vessels like we. We thank you for the anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, stay in God's presence. Stay in God's presence and let the oil of God, the Spirit of God, have his way in our life. Let the Spirit of God saturate our life. Let the Spirit of God anoint us. Let his presence be with us. God bless you.
and cause his face to shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have to be vessels for God's Spirit to flow through us. We have to be a pipe, a channel for the Spirit of God to flow through us. But we have to live holy, unspotted from the world. We have to live holy. And the only way we could live holy is to be covered under the blood of Jesus. For the Bible said, when the Father sees the blood, he will pass over us. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to let God use us as channels for his spirit to flow. We are in his hands, we are in his feet in this material world. We are God's hands and we are God's feet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we press into the Word of God, let us be encouraged in the Word of God. As He leads us and guides us through life. Thank God for His precious Word that He given unto us. And he tells us that it's not by power and it's not by might, but it's by his spirit. Yes, it's by God's spirit. For God is spirit. But we have a part to do here. We have to do a part here. That's why he saved us. He said to his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Everyone must hear the gospel. We have to be a conduit for God to use. Mo God used Moses. Moses lift up the rod and the Red Sea was parted. It's not Moses that does it that did it. It's not the stick that does it. It's God's Spirit. The Spirit of God opened up the Red Sea. And they went over in dry land. That's why he told the priest to carry the ark. And when Joshua gave the sound, give the um the sound, they should blow the trumpet. There is a sound of the Holy Ghost. There's a sound. The Bible said there was a sound. There was a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And it filled the place where they were sitting. There's a sound. There's a sound that the Holy Ghost gives. There's a sound. You might be the only one that hear the sound. You might be in the club. You might be the only one that hear the sound. You might be in the prison. You might be the only one that hear that sound. The sound of the Holy Ghost. I heard the sound in a basement. Not a church, it was in a basement. Hallelujah. The Bible said His word is like a two edged sword. Quick, sharp, and powerful. Like a two edged sword. God's word is the power of God and the salvation. His word. That's why he wanted to preach his word. Declare his word unto the people. Hallelujah. And he will fight our battle for us. Whatever battle we have, he will fight it for us. Praise God. I'm going through some battle in my life. But I cry unto God. Go in my closet. Cry to God. And you know what God tell me? Get up and go do this. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have a problem here. He said, get up 
and go do this. <laughs> you see, when we obey God, our problem will look like nothing. But if we focus on our problem, we can't we can't see God. So God does this to us. Get up and go do this. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said obedience is better than sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. The reason why he said that to us is, is because he don't want to make us. It's not our strength that's going to do it. Not our strength. The Bible said when you're weak, then you're strong. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. And I'm looking at it, so wait a minute. God does not see the way our man see. I said, oh my God. He don't see the way that we see. So when I have a problem, a financial problem, or a sickness, I start to do something that looks stupid. Just like Jesus did. He took the mud, put the man in the man's eye, and say go wash I put my hands on my head and I start rebuking whatever sickness is this speak the word of God he said my words are spirit in their life speak the word of God over my life and command the devil to go God gave Adam dominion over the earth the fall of the air the fish of the sea the beast of the field God gave Adam dominion. Yes, the devil come and stole it, but Jesus came and gave it back to us. He said, Behold, I give you power to trample over demons and serpents. You might not have a viper that jump out of the fire at you, but something jumped out. Something came out. Something is holding down the burden. Whether it be smoking, weed smoking, lying, stealing, fornicating, something came out of there. Something came out. The devil is enticing us. Something came out. The Bible said, God does not tempt anybody. But a man is tempted after his own lust and he's intrigued by it. Something came out. And grab a hold of us. This is how you know when something come out and grab a hold of you. When you stop going on your knees and crying out to God, the devil say, you know what? Ah, skip one day. Ah, skip another day. Ah, skip another day. Skip another day. And by the time you look at it, you're far away from God. People of God, let's stay closer to Jesus. Stick close to the Lord. Wherever he go, wherever he turns, stick close to him. He knows the way. He knows the way. So we confuse the enemy when we're weak, then we're strong. He gives us power to rebuke everything. Every sickness, every principality, every power. Every witchcraft working, every every idolatry he gave us the power to rebuke it praise God be still and know that I am God Bible said he's the same today yesterday yeah the same God we called upon yesterday and he's the same today and forevermore praise the name of the Lord Thank you, again, thank you again for tuning into the Heart for God broadcast. It's a privilege to come to you and break the bread of God, the word of God, with you. God bless you and cause His face shine upon you today. And I pray that you're in good health. as your soul prosper and you prosper also as your soul prosper the 
Bible says, Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, love of God cannot be in him. He's either going to love one and despise the other. Keep your heart, your heart, not only, not only your mind, your heart. The Bible said, The abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Keep your heart upon Jesus. Wherever your heart is, that's where your treasure is also. When God speaks to us, He speaks to our hearts. He pour in the oil. Praise God. In us. He speaks to the heart. And the heart speaks to the mind. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Thanks for listening to the Hope of God Network. It's always a privilege to come to you. I bless you. I bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He came to save. To seek and to save that which is lost. You might be one of them. If you're not yet saved. If you're not yet saved. You might be one of them. The Bible said, if you hear my voice, hold not your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence today. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name. For listening to the Heart of God Network. God bless you and cause His face to shine upon you today.
Hallelujah. God bless you, God bless you. This station is here for you. It's here for you. To strengthen the believer and to edify the saints of God. Let us keep on, keep on, keep it on. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we continue, as we continue on, people of God, keep the men of God in prayer. Hallelujah. Hope that God, pray that God, keep them on the straight and narrow path. Keep them in good health and prosper him in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep the men of God, Howard Pastor, in prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible said the angels of the Lord encamped around them. That's for him. Hallelujah. Keep in prayer, people of God. God, raise up a man like this in a time like this. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God for the men of God. Stand with him in prayer. Stand with him. The Bible said the race is not given to the swift, nor to the mighty, but unto them that could endure until the end. Keep him in prayer. Keep him in prayer. Hallelujah. Pray for his health. Pray for his strength. Pray until he get a breakthrough. Pray until the wall of Jericho come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we plead the blood against every Jericho. In the name of Jesus, every wall of Jericho will come down. Hallelujah. We bind the principalities and powers. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Satan, we command you to leave. Let go. Loose them in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold. Every burden. Every sickness. Hallelujah. Loose his finance in the name of Jesus. We bind the word devil. We cast you out. In Jesus name. You foul spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh God, cover him under the blood. Raise him up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Lord, we thank you for this man of God. We thank you, Jesus, my God, for encouraging the people. Every morning, my God, I thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My God, my God. If it wasn't for your spirit and your presence, my God, my God, hallelujah, it is not by power, it is not by might, but it is by your spirit. You have given him strength, Lord, strength to come to your people every day with fresh manner, fresh bread from heaven, hot off the grill, my God, I thank you. Thank you for your presence, thank you for the anointing that you put upon his life. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, cover him under the blood. Cover him, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and touch his body. And we shall give you praise forever and ever. Forevermore, in Jesus' name. Roll away the stone.
Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Shall come to pass. My God. My God, my God. Hallelujah. We stand in faith. We believe in your Holy Ghost. We believe in Lord. Yeah. 